And we're following some major developments in a new sign investigation we first broke last night. It involves an investigation into campaign fundraising. Several people are now speaking out on what we uncovered. Stacy Cameron joins us now with the latest. Stacy, Kelly, it goes without saying the story is political and it's complicated. But at the heart of the matter is one question. Did someone unethically or illegally divert House Republican campaign funds just as the party was taking power in 2004? I found out Monday that there was an ongoing investigation. That is Gary Jones, chairman of the Oklahoma Republican Party. The investigation he's referring to, a probe into whether campaign money from 11 House Republicans was diverted from the state party and wrongfully given to the Oklahoma County Republican Committee. If the check was intended to come to the state, it should have come to the state. This afternoon, six of the lawmakers whose checks are in question issued a joint statement. It reads in part, in the fall of 2004, checks were written to the Oklahoma State Republican Party out of our individual campaign accounts to go to statewide Republican efforts. This was a transfer of surplus funds that is expressly allowed under state ethics rules. But the statement also goes on to deny a News 9 story linking Speaker Lance Cargill to the alleged diversion of funds. But according to Jones, if any of the checks were for the Oklahoma Republican Party and statewide campaign activity, his office never got the money. I never had any indication that those people were writing checks to us. I mean, if they they had written them and, and given them to somebody, uh, you know, we never saw them. Ray Vaughn is a former state representative and one of the candidates whose money ended up with the Oklahoma County Republican Party. Not now, not ever has Ray contributed to the county party. Rick Buchanan is Vaughn's spokesperson. Buchanan says Vaughn wrote a $5,000 check to the state Republican Party in October 2004. And while his money went directly to the county Republican Committee, Vaughn wanted it to go to the state party. You know, that, that was his intention to give money to the state party, and I believe that's where he felt that the money was headed. As we mentioned in our story last night, Vaughn's check and 10 others totaling more than $33,000 ended up in the county Republican Party's bank accounts. When they reported those, in fact, it was to go to the state party. They were state party donations. Several sources continue to tell me that people inside current House Republican leadership diverted the money. But it's an allegation that Speaker of the House Lance Cargill categorically denies. Kelly? All right, Stacy, and your investigation prompted the Speaker to release this statement earlier tonight. Quote, we are not aware of any ethics violations that have occurred, but be absolutely clear, I did not solicit, receive, deposit, or expend any victory fund checks. Our political opponents know that ethics commission rules are designed to protect confidentiality, and our opponents are trying to use those rules against us by leaking information to the press which grossly misrepresents both the law and facts regarding this matter. End of quote. News 9 and Stacey Cameron will continue to follow this matter as any investigation goes forward.